Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Coming up. So yeah, here we have the box. Now, one caveat to this is I did get it used, and it said that it didn't come with the original box, so this is pretty much all we got to work with here. And I may or may not need my trusty skizzers because this particular box has an easy open. So we'll try this, and then if it don't work, we'll bust out the old tried and true. So let's get to it. All right, guess you can rest for today, old friend. So yeah, guys, here it is. Unfortunately, like I said, there is no box, so no box montage, unfortunately. But uh, here it is, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So let's unbox, or unbag, rather, this bad boy. Right, and we'll start off with this, which I guess is the only accessory it comes with, which is uh, just a little uh, charge cord. So it comes with a micro USB cable with a little adapter that it came with. All right, so now let's go through the piece de resistance, the mic itself. And so here we have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Comes with a little cable here. Um, I didn't get the uh, the Dead Cat version. I just got uh, the one with this little foam windscreen. I might get the uh, Dead Cat version later because I do like to have a little extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Um, the reason I got this one over the original is that it has a uh, rechargeable battery on the inside. And I tried messing with the original one because uh, Eric Surf 6 has it. And trying to change the battery was uh, very much a uh, exercise in frustration. So I so decided to skip that and get the Plus. And I found this really good deal on Amazon. So I got it for significantly less than what it normally comes for. So I decided, why not? Plus, <laughs> plus the Plus comes with some extra features that the original does not have. So as you can see here, the Plus has the on button, of course. <laughs> Then it has two levels of low cut filters. So these are mostly used for if you're in an environment with a lot of wind noise, a lot of low machinery like cars, air conditioners, stuff like that. It helps kind of mitigate a lot of that low annoying rumble. And there's two different levels. And then for here, you also have a boost and a pad like a cut, basically. So this is good, uh, especially if you're at concerts or areas where there's a lot of volume. So you need that nice little 10 decibel cut to help uh, prevent clipping. Then you have the 20 decibel boost, which is good for cameras. So that way you can lower the preamp on the camera and then just have it boosted through the mic. So the overall signal is cleaner. So this is actually my first battery powered mic. The mic that I'm using right now is the Rode Video Micro, which is just powered by the camera. So I wanted to get a uh, powered mic just because it had all these different options and I wanted something with a little more reach. That's enough yapping for now. Let's go ahead and uh, test out this bad boy, huh? All right, so from this point in the video on, I'm gonna have the audio be completely unedited so that way you guys can properly hear the differences between the mics. So right now, I'm rocking the Rode Video Micro. I've had this for a couple of years now. Uh, it's been a good, reliable piece of gear. I have nothing bad to say about it. Uh, it's always reliable, always there for me, and stuff like that. So now we're gonna switch over to the onboard mics on my Sony a7C. So yeah guys, this is the onboard audio from the Sony a7C. Um, I've actually never heard it before because this is the first video that I've made on this camera. So it's gonna be a new experience for all of us. Um, but this is what it sounds like. No audio tweakery or anything like that. Just the onboard mics that you get from the Sony a7C. 
So yeah guys, this is the audio from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And I don't have any of the extra low cut filters or any other stuff on. This is just as it comes from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. God, that's a mouthful to say. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it sounds good. I'm really fo looking forward to hearing what it sounds like in post. So like I said with the, the Sony a7C onboard audio, uh, this is gonna be a new thing for all of us. And this is the audio from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the 75 hertz uh, low cut filter on. So this is what it'll sound like if you uh, turn that on. Um, for judging from hearing the demos on other people's videos, it probably sounds a lot more trebly. You can probably hear a lot more uh, sibilance in my voice, for instance. Uh, and it just cuts down a lot of that sort of low machinery. So hopefully you don't hear my fridge running as much, if at all. I don't know. <laughs> and this is what it sounds like with the 150 hertz low cut on. So significantly less bass, a lot more treble. It helps mitigate a lot of, like I said, low machinery noise, a lot of low rumble from like uh, cars, ACs, refrigerators, for instance. Wind is what's mostly used for, so it helps cut down on that sort of <sighs> noise. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. All right, and this is what the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus sounds like with the 10 decibel cut on. I, I would imagine it's probably a lot harder for you to hear me because uh, I haven't adjusted any uh, mic levels on the camera. Uh, for those of you who use the Sony a7C, I just have them on the default uh, 15 right now. Um, so if you're playing the home game, that's uh, my current settings. They are. Uh, so this is basically what it sounds like with the cut on. Like I said, it's mostly used for concerts and other loud venues where you're worried about the mic clipping. So it gives you that nice uh, 10 decibel uh, leeway to uh, cut the audio to. All right, and this is with the plus 20 decibel boost. Now, I hope this isn't too loud. I'm looking at the, uh, the audio levels and they look pretty darn loud right now. So I do apologize if I'm blowing your eardrums out. I'll try to talk a little more quiet. But the idea behind having a booster on the mic is that way you can turn the preamp level on your camera way down so you get a cleaner overall signal. So since I haven't adjusted any of the levels on the camera, uh, it's probably coming in like really super loud. Although um, in reality, I'm actually talking very quietly. So we'll, uh, we'll see how she sounds later. So yeah guys, that was my unboxing and demo of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And with that said, this is Andy, signing for now, and as always, forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.